Imagine waking up to the news that Yellowstone has blown up. What would that mean for us? This isn't a plot from a Hollywood disaster movie, but a potential reality we might face. Yellowstone, with its serene beauty, hides a ticking time bomb beneath its surface, a monstrous volcano. An eruption could have far-reaching effects impacting not just the United States, but the entire globe. To understand what could happen, we first need to dive into the science behind Yellowstone's volcanic activity. Yellowstone isn't just your average national park, it's a volcanic hotspot. But what does that mean exactly? Well, let's delve into the fascinating geology of this iconic American landmark to understand why it's considered one of the world's most dangerous volcanoes. Yellowstone sits atop what's known as a caldera, or a supervolcano. Now think of a caldera as the gigantic crater left behind by a volcanic explosion. But this is no ordinary crater. A supervolcano, like the one beneath Yellowstone, is capable of producing eruptions thousands of times more powerful than a typical volcano. This volcanic behemoth is fueled by a massive reservoir of molten rock, or magma, that lurks beneath the Earth's surface. Imagine a vast underground lake of fiery liquid rock, just waiting for the right conditions to burst forth. That's Yellowstone for you, and burst forth it has, not once, but thrice. The history of Yellowstone's eruptions reads like a tale of epic geological drama. About 2.1 million years ago, the first major eruption occurred resulting in the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff, an extensive deposit of volcanic material. Then, approximately 1.3 million years ago, the park witnessed another colossal eruption, creating the Island Park Caldera and the Mesa Falls Tuff. The most recent blast, about 640,000 years ago, led to the formation of the Yellowstone Caldera and the Lava Creek Tuff. Each of these eruptions was cataclysmic in scale, dwarfing anything humanity has ever witnessed. They spewed vast quantities of ash and volcanic gases into the atmosphere, affecting climate and life on a global scale. But let's not forget, these eruptions happened over a span of millions of years. The Earth, in all its geological complexity, works on a timeline far beyond human comprehension. So, we know Yellowstone is capable of massive eruptions, but what are the chances of it erupting tomorrow? The possibility of Yellowstone erupting tomorrow is low, but it's not zero. Now let's take a closer look at the numbers. As we delve into the probabilities, keep in mind that these are based on historical data and current seismic activity. Over the past 2 million years, Yellowstone has experienced three major eruptions. That equates to a super eruption approximately every 667,000 years. The last major eruption, however, took place about 640,000 years ago. Doing the math, you might think we are due for another one soon. But this isn't how volcanoes work. They don't adhere to a strict schedule. Scientists meticulously monitor the seismic activities at Yellowstone to identify any signs of an impending eruption. They keep an eye on the ground deformation, which is basically the ground moving up and down due to the movement of magma beneath the surface. They also monitor the gas output, as changes in the types and amounts of gases released can indicate changes in the activity of the magma. Seismic monitoring is another critical aspect. Yellowstone is one of the most seismically active areas in the United States experiencing between 1,000 to 3,000 earthquakes annually. Most of these are too small to be felt, but they are recorded. An increase in the frequency and intensity of these earthquakes could indicate a possible eruption. Despite all these monitoring efforts, predicting a volcanic eruption is not an exact science. The odds of Yellowstone erupting tomorrow, according to U.S. Geological Survey, are about 1 in 730,000. That's lower than the odds of getting struck by lightning. With a low probability but high impact, an eruption would have catastrophic effects. Let's explore what those could be. Remember, while the chances are slim, they are not non-existent. So it's essential to understand the potential consequences and how we can prepare for them. An eruption of Yellowstone's magnitude would have immediate and far-reaching effects. Let's start with the immediate impact. Picture this. A colossal column of ash and volcanic gases shoots miles into the sky. This ash cloud would spread rapidly, driven by the prevailing winds. The immediate vicinity, a radius of about a hundred miles, would be buried under several feet of ash. This ash isn't like the stuff you find in your fireplace. It's made up of tiny jagged fragments of rock and glass, making it dangerous to breathe and heavy enough to collapse buildings. Next come the pyroclastic flows. 
These are fast-moving currents of hot gas and volcanic matter which can reach speeds of up to 300 miles per hour and temperatures of around 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. They'd incinerate everything in their path, leaving behind a barren, moon-like landscape. Then there's the lava. While not as fast or as far-reaching as the ash or pyroclastic flows, the slow-moving rivers of molten rock would cause long-term destruction, burying and burning everything they touch. But the impact of a Yellowstone eruption wouldn't just be local. The ash cloud would spread across North America, causing widespread disruption. Imagine a blanket of ash covering everything. Roads, airports, power plants. It would be like an endless winter. This could bring transportation and power infrastructure to a standstill, affecting millions, if not billions of people. The ash would also have a significant impact on the climate. Volcanic ash and gases can reflect sunlight back into space, causing global temperatures to drop. This is known as a volcanic winter. It could lead to widespread crop failures and famine, affecting our food supply on a global scale. The global economy wouldn't be spared either. The disruption to transportation and trade, combined with the cost of cleanup and rebuilding, could plunge the world into a severe economic recession. Not to mention the effect on insurance markets, which would be hit with unprecedented claims. Even our health would be at risk. The ash, being made up of tiny particles of glass and rock, can cause serious health problems if inhaled, such as lung damage and respiratory issues. Not to mention the psychological impact of such a catastrophic event. And then there's the long-term impact on the environment. The ash would smother plants and rivers, killing wildlife and disrupting ecosystems. It could take decades, if not centuries, for these areas to recover. The aftermath of a Yellowstone eruption would be felt globally, but how would we cope? In the face of such a disaster, humanity would need to adapt quickly. This would involve a massive global initiative, requiring the cooperation of emergency services governments and international organizations. Firstly, emergency services would be at the forefront, handling immediate rescue and relief operations. They would be tasked with the monumental job of evacuating people from danger zones, providing medical aid to the injured, and ensuring the safety of those in less affected areas. The scale of the disaster would necessitate the coordination of various emergency services, both locally and internationally. The government's role would be multifaceted. Apart from facilitating the emergency response, the government would need to implement strategies to maintain law and order, deliver basic services, and manage the economy in the face of an unprecedented crisis. The rebuilding of infrastructure and re-establishment of communities would be a long-term project requiring immense resources and strategic planning. International cooperation would be vital in the face of such a global catastrophe. Nations would need to come together to provide humanitarian aid, share resources, and pool scientific knowledge. The eruption's worldwide effects would demand a united response, transcending national borders and political differences. The aftermath of a Yellowstone eruption would also spur scientific and technological advancements. Researchers would seize the opportunity to study the event in detail, offering insights into volcanic activity and its impact on the Earth's climate. Technological innovations would likely emerge, driven by the need for solutions to the challenges posed by such a disaster. Moreover, the eruption would underscore the importance of environmental conservation and sustainable living. It would serve as a stark reminder of our planet's power and the delicate balance of its ecosystems. While the eruption of Yellowstone is a low-probability event, understanding its potential impact reminds us of our vulnerability and the importance of preparation and resilience. It highlights the need for robust disaster management plans and the value of international cooperation in the face of global challenges. It's a testament to humanity's ability to adapt, innovate, and come together when confronted with the unimaginable. In this video we've taken a deep dive into the potential eruption of Yellowstone. We've explored the science behind this sleeping giant, the odds of it waking up in our lifetime, the catastrophic aftermath it could unleash, and how humanity might respond. It's a journey through geology, probabilities, hypothetical disasters, and human resilience. While it's unlikely to happen tomorrow, the eruption of Yellowstone is a fascinating topic that reminds us of the power of nature and the resilience of humanity.